Hey friends, welcome to Stock Chain Crypto Plays. I have a new stock that I'm going to be shorting possibly tomorrow. I'm giving you a head start before I even short it, okay? It's Disney. And you're like, why would I short Disney? Like, they're just going to keep going up and up and up. That's such a strong company. That's probably what you might be thinking. Really? <clears throat> Let's take a look at Disney, all right? So today it was up 30 cents. Pretty strong, right? Up 30 cents? No, it's not strong. Oh, uh, let's take a look at the week. Now, it's up 4% on the week. That's strong. $3.36. Very strong, right? So um, what they did was probably crush anyone who opened a short position on Disney. But the time is very close to open a short on Disney. And I'm going to show you why. If you're still here, you're going to learn why and you're going to agree. All right. Now, um, Let's take a look at the one month. The one month is also up $3.23. Wow, that's great. Disney's doing great. I mean, maybe we should buy calls on Disney, right? I'm being sarcastic. I'm telling you to short it. That's not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. Let's take a look at the three month. Uh-oh, the three month is down. Oh, wow. The three month is down $3.25, 3.68% for three months. Okay. And the year is down 12% on the year. We're down $12 per share, $12.59 per year. Look at how we're trending down. Would you take a look at this chart? It's trending down so badly. And you're asking yourself, oh, geez, yeah, that's true. What's going on with Disney? Well, Disney is dead. They're dead. They're done. They're going, their stock's going to crash. I'm, I don't know exactly when, but my thought is it's going to crash when they report earnings. or prior, It's going to start to crash prior to earnings or at earnings. Um, the earnings are going to be reported um, on November 9th, I think, around there. Um, fair value, they're saying, is 145 per share. Yeah, right. Nope. Mm-mm. Okay, earnings are on November 8th. So what you want to do right here, take a look. You want to trade, you want to trade options, you want to go all the way to November 10th. So, or even later, man, if you could do like this, if you could do like a real long call, like if you could do like through December or let's go say for January, um, that might be, that might be a little bit far off. Let's go. <laughs> all right, let's just make it easy. Did we do it? What did we do even? Did we do, we want to do, a long put. Did I say a call? I'm going to do a put. We want to short it. All right. Let's go to January 2024. 20, okay. Now, if you were to short it up through January 2024, um, a $90 price here. By, by It costs you $735 premium with a max profit of $8,265. That would be my recommendation. If you want the best chance of making a lot of money, Short it at least through um, 1-19-2024. Now, if you don't want to pay that kind of premium, you're going to have to go to a shorter date. I would say at least do the 10th so you can get those awful earnings in there. And I think they're going to have awful earnings. My opinion. I'm not a financial advice. This is not financial advice. Don't do anything based on my opinions. Do your own research. All right. So let's take a look. If you do November 10th, $86 price here. It only costs you $365 premium. You can make up to $8,235, you know, technically. So you can make a lot of money um, on that. Um, the reason I'm I'm saying it's going to, um, what I think they're going to crash or go down is because um, these reasons I'm about to give you. Disney Plus is failing. They've lost so many subscribers this last two, three quarters because of their woke uh, policies. All their movies are failing. Like if you look up the Disney movies, every movie is basically failed on Disney. Um, and even if you say, well, this movie or that maybe movie made pretty good money. No, their revenue was pretty good on that particular movie that you're going to reference, but they actually lost money on it. Okay. They've lost money on every movie. Nobody's watching these Disney movies anymore, especially in the United States. You know, some of the other countries, they'll do a little better. Their revenue will be higher. But in the United States, they're dead. Um, their woke agenda, um, their alternative lifestyle agenda that they're trying to force down everyone's throat. Like, for example, the movie Elemental, which I didn't watch. I protected my family from that. Hopefully you protected your family from that as well. That's one of many. And pretty much all their movies now are woke. 
So people are canceling Disney and there used to be lines that in, in the Disney world, the lines are very short now and they do it by time. And like, you can go on Google and find out wait times, uh, historic wait times, the historic wait time, wait times in line at Disney are lower than they've ever been historically. Um, so people aren't really even going to Disney world anymore. Um, they're boycotting Disney World, Disneyland, both of them. Uh, the streaming service is falling off a cliff. Um, and their movies are failing one after the other. They're all losing money. All their movies are losing money, okay? So once they report earnings on 11-8, they are going to crash. This is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. Short it now. That's my opinion. You got a great opinion from a non-financial advisor. <laughs> I'm not a financial advisor, okay? And I'm not giving you financial advice. But let's take a look here at some of the news. Are the Walt Disney Company's mixed financials the reason for its gloomy performance on the stock market? Um, then they're trying to say maybe it was the Hollywood strike. No, it wasn't. Disney faces renewed pressure from Nielsen after stock hits nine-year low Yahoo Finance one day ago. Also, they've cut the rating. Uh, many professionals have cut the rating, the stock rating. Um, so it's not just me. It's not just me saying, oh, Disney's going to go down, you know, because they're woke. No, they are going down. They have been going down. I just showed you what the last 12 months is. But look at this, down $12.59 on the year. Why? They're, they're woke policies. They're alternative lifestyle that they force down your throats. Families don't want it, you know? They don't want to bring their kids to a movie and have someone force an alternative lifestyle down their throat and put it right in your faces. That's not what Disney's supposed to be about. So not only are the parks failing, their streaming services are failing, and their movies are failing epically. They're in serious trouble. But, you know, they're trying to disguise it with stuff like this. Oh man, we're we're rolling. We're up uh we're up uh 4% on the week. Look at this, right? Uh wow, we're up 4% on the month. Wow, Disney's doing great. No, they're not. Look at the 3 month. They're down 3.8%. Look at the year. They're down 12.9% on the year. A massive $12.59 per share down on the year. And you can see the slope. You can see the massive fail failure trend, okay? And it's going to get much worse for Disney as soon as they report earnings. Is going to be bad. It's going to be a bloodbath, okay? So open your puts now, your short positions now. You're going to make a lot of money. And I just ask this. Please remember me. There's a super thanks on the bottom. When you make fat cash on this, and you will, just remember me. And please go down there and do a super thanks for me, okay? You can do that for me. I'd be grateful. All right, friends? All right. Hit like, subscribe, add notifications, share the video with a friend. Talk to you soon. Have a great day.